Okay, I'm not going to lie. I am disappointed, but I'm not going to hate on the game and say, oh, it's not worth playing, it's dead. I'm not going to whinge like a little spoiled kid. Rockstar have released the update for Red Dead Online. The update they said was massive. The update we thought was going to be massive. The update that is far from massive. We had all these notes, like all this new stuff coming to the game, and I think less than half of it has actually been released today. One thing they have said, though, is that the game is going to continue to receive things on a weekly basis. The very first thing we're going to talk about before we actually get into what they've put in the article about the update is, let's go and have a look at this. This is this was my biggest problem on the whole game. And bear in mind, I'm probably not going to use worms ever again. I have a special lake lore and things. But I appreciate them finally doing this. Because it's, it's been a long time. Like three months. And they've only just fixed it. But it's done now. It's over. If we go into my bait list. It says five of five. You have bread, corn, cheese and worms. The worm bait if we select it, is finally usable in this beta. We can cast, we can hook onto fish, we can do everything, it, it works as it should. So I'm, I'm not going to bother catching a fish, like you get the point. I'm not sure about the live crickets, I'm not sure about any of the other bugs. I've never experienced the butcher bug myself, I've just heard a lot of people tell me about it. I've never really experienced disconnecting from sessions. And all the other bugs that people have spoken about. The worm bait was my main bug that was affecting me. And it doesn't affect me anymore. So let me know in the comments if the bugs you've been getting have been fixed with this update. And I also need some help because the fishing challenges that were supposed to come into the game. I don't know if they're in here. I can't seem to find them. I've looked through all of this list. I've looked through the pause menu. I can't find a way to opt in to fishing challenges and that is one of the things I was looking forward to the most. They have put daily challenges in, you can see my daily challenges there, we're not going to go through them but you've got stuff like kill two seagulls blah blah blah. They will reset in 12 hours 42 minutes. When you complete all seven, which I don't think I would ever do in the next 13 hours anyway, because my challenges include killing three players with a maxim gun, which are the big like mounted turrets that are on trains and also kill three players from a moving train. There's never really a time in the online beta when you're going to kill players. If it means people, there's story missions and stuff you can do that will allow you to do those daily challenges, but if there's other players in the game, then it's a form of griefing kind of thing if you carry on doing it after. We're not going to go into that or anything, but there's not really a chance you're going to get to find players on a moving train whilst using a Maxim gun. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to be just people, or if it's actually players, but they're fairly simple other than that. You've got to eat fresh produce. You have to kill players with a double barreled shotgun. The list goes on. I would really like to do the fishing challenges. So if you do know how to get them to work. Like how to opt into them. If they're even in this beta. I don't know if they've been put in. Then let me know in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. The final thing we're going to do. Because at the moment there's no new gameplay in here. Is we're going to talk about what they've said in the article. This update was basically to bring improvements to the game and to get us all excited for things that are upcoming. They have been nice and given us something for free, which I'll mention at the end of this. Okay, so what this article says is today, the Red Dead Online beta gets its first big batch of updates, including new gameplay, weapons and clothing, additional balancing and a slew of community requested improvements. Thanks to responses to our player feedback page, the update is live in game now, see below for details. I don't know why they've done this, I don't know what they were thinking doing this, but it says, weapons, new gameplay, and those things aren't in this game at the moment. We're going to go through the whole of this article, it won't take me too long, and then we're going to wrap the video up. New gameplay, earn gold nuggets and XP, so you're going to get nuggets and XP for completing the daily challenges. A new series of wide-ranging objectives covering everything from skinning animals to finding treasure, winning feuds and more. Pull up the player menu to see your 7 daily challenges, so you get 7 every day, that will rotate each day. Each challenge earns gold nuggets and XP, and completing all 7 will earn you a bonus. I have no idea what that bonus is, but I'm sure I'll find out at some point. Starting next week, 
Compete with rival teams and posses in the new free roam event Fool's Gold, where players fight to wear a protective suit of golden armour, take down the current wearer to earn the armour and points, then turn the tables and rack up kills against the opposition. So Fool's Gold, one of the things I was very looking forward to, isn't actually in the game right now. And looking ahead, new game modes will arrive in the Red Dead Online beta each week. Put your highwayman skills to the test with target races as you race other players on horseback to take down targets with speed and accuracy. Proficiency with a bow and arrow will give you an edge. Take advantage of weapon and horse stamina pickups where you can. Use your limited bullets wisely to remove targets or attack your competition. Then it says take on friends and rivals in new fishing challenges. Opt in to a challenge to receive the appropriate equipment and bait. Head to the water's edge and start reeling in the big ones. For added ease, use Eagle Eye to pick a spot full of fish. Remember, you're trying to catch the highest total weight of fish to win, which could be achieved by hooking several smaller fish or angling for one large catch. So keep everything you reel in. I can't find the fishing challenges, so I can't do those at the minute, but it doesn't say anything about those not being in the game. Then it says, also coming soon, three new showdown modes where players and teams compete to capture and deliver bags, still loot from each other and survive. Stay tuned for more details around Up in Smoke, Spoils of War and Plunder. With the addition of these new modes also comes the featured series blip. Visit the featured series signpost or select the option from the quick join menu to play the latest modes. So the three modes they said were coming to Showdown series aren't in the game yet. Then it says new weapons, this one I'm very disappointed with. The rare shotgun is a beautifully engraved, faded brass version of the powerful double barreled long arm and is available today. Coming soon, be sure to get your hands on the Evans Repeater, a high grade high capacity rifle that is devastating a medium and long range. Both weapons are available either from the catalogue or the gunsmiths. So the gun that I was most looking forward to out of the two to cover do a review on and see how it works isn't in the game yet we was told that it would be put in the game on the 26th of feb they haven't done it i don't i don't know why they've done it like this it's like it's, it gives us something to look forward to so it's not just negatives to look at it does give us stuff to look forward to they're adding things into the game every week which is also good for them just because it gives them a chance to further do testing make sure it all works properly and bring it into the game without bugs but at the same time, when you're being told it's coming on this day and then it doesn't drop, it's disappointing. And it does get a little bit frustrating. I'm not hating against Rockstar. I just think they should have played it a little bit different because they've said all this new gameplay and these weapons are in the game and they're just not. The things they have brought in though, and they've brought it all in, there's no, like, nothing's being delayed or anything like that. Treat yourself to a new range of outfits, boots, coats, gloves, hats, vests and more. So all the clothing's in the catalogue. And there'll also be limited time items that will come and go each week. Then you have new emotes. Express yourself with a new set of emotes including new reactions, greets and taunts. Like all emotes, you can tap once with a standard one and double tap for a more exaggerated expression. You can find them in the catalogue, blah blah blah. Then they've done what we've spoken about in previous videos. Updated player, radar and visibility. Easier parlay and feuds. Enhanced law and bounty system. I've not tested those out yet but I will do at some point in the future. So that does pretty much wrap it up. They've added a bonus, which I'm going to explain in a second. But from this video, like I've done two videos on this update so far. I did the first part of the patch notes. I did the second part of the patch notes. And I've had so much hate on the first video. It's unbelievable. People have been telling me to go kill myself. People have called me all the names under the sun. I've even been called scum for having my own opinion. I'm going to tell you this, I'm going to tell you it straight. I don't give a shit what you think about me. I am a YouTuber. I do this to help you guys out. I do this to entertain people. I'm not always going to be positive. I'm not going to lick developers' assholes. At the same time, I'm not always going to be negative and be an asshole towards devs. I made a mistake in that video, and I'm pretty sure I corrected myself in the following video, the second one for the update. I changed my opinion completely. I turned all the negatives from the video before into positives and I still on a daily basis get people come to the channel and just complain. I know I was negative in that video. I do not appreciate people telling me to go kill myself. I'm not a wizard. I can't go back in time and remove like not even do the video in the first place. I can't do that. I've apologized. I said I won't do it again. But at the same time, I will not lie about things. I will not clickbait. 
I will not say things just to keep devs happy and I will not mislead you into potentially buying a game that's going to be a bad experience. And now that's out of the way, like, it's it's not affected me, like, haters are going to hate. Like, I'm going to receive hate left, right and centre all the time. That's just a part of being on the internet. Like, it happens everywhere. But it gets to a certain point where you're being told to kill yourself that it just takes the piss. And those people just fuck off. I, I don't care. Like, I'm going to remove your comments. I'll ban you from the channel. I'll reply and give you some shit that you can take into mind. And now that's out of the way... They've said, please keep the feedback coming as these new features arrive each week. In addition to new content, stay tuned for new weekly bonuses such as this week's care package. So they've given us a care package which is available at the post office. You get some potent things. You get two snake oils, two bitters, two miracle tonics. They are all potent. You get two horse revivers, two potent horse stimulants, eight poison arrows and ten explosive slugs. Those have been given to us to help out with our adventures and stuff throughout this week and to also help us with the first set of daily challenges. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it there. There's not much for me to do on this game at the moment. Like I can do the daily challenges and stuff. I can earn some money. I can level up. But for the time being, there's no new gameplay really in this game. Unless I can find the fishing challenges. If I find the fishing challenges, I'll be back a lot sooner. But if not, then I'm probably going to steer clear of the game until next week i'll be coming back every single week to see what's new in the game and if there's only one thing a week i'll try and cover that one thing i'm just glad that rockstar even though they told us we're getting all this stuff today and we haven't i'm glad they're doing weekly stuff because a lot of people are going to change their mind now like i'm not saying change their mind about playing the game they're going to change their mind when they go to complain about it because it's not just me a lot of people said that this game is dying, this game's already dead, blah, 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 blah. But I'm hoping, like, every game at the minute is seeming to get hate all the time. Like, everyone, like, the whole of the internet is just hate, 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 hate. There's not many people out there. Like, there is some, I've had some nice comments and stuff as well. And I've heard some nice things about games. But there's only a select amount of people that are positive about all this stuff. And the positivity is the way to go. Like, start being positive a lot more than you are negative. I'm not saying don't ever hate a game. You have every right to hate a game if you want to hate a game. Just don't join bandwagons and... Like, if you watch one video saying, oh, this game sucks, don't take that one video. Go and watch more. Get your own opinion. Try the game yourself. Like, ignore reviews and just try it. See what your experience is going to be like. I'm going to stop rambling on because I feel that I'm going on about this a little bit too much and a lot more than I should be. And as I said, I will be back probably next week unless I can find the fishing challenges. So I will see you then. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.